the heavy hitter media. What's going on, heavy hitters, y'all? Happy New Year's Eve. I hope everyone is having an amazing day and happy New Year early. Baby, y'all come on in and let's have this heavy conversation and let's talk about how a couple of the ladies of Real Housewives of Potomac have been cutting up legally and dating-wise. Let's start first with Busybody Be Lying Mia. First, starting with Mia Be Lying Thornton, baby. When I tell you this picture comes from the neighborhood talk and it's all over her, I saw this one because there are more looks like Mia decided that she was going to bring in 2024 with shaking the tables. Mia is suggestively and provocatively seen here with her legs wrapped around her new beautiful chocolate boo, and we think we know who it is. Now again, this comes from the neighborhood talk, and allegedly this may be who she is hugged up with in the picture. He's a lot younger than her. He's a radio jockey or radio personality in Atlanta who is well known. Unfortunately, there is not a name listed, but I'm sure within a matter of hours, if not seconds, if not already, his name will hit. Uh, Mia, he's a little young, and I'm sure his pockets probably don't. Well, Gordon's pockets are hitting really flat right about now, so I'm sure anything is better than the income you're only receiving from Real Housewives of Potomac because we're sure you're looking for multiple streams of income because that's what gold diggers with goals do. <laughs> Pause it, please. Baby, mama needs the coin. Anyway, he's a cute chocolate guy. She loves a chocolate man. Oh, poor Gordon. Well, if you've been watching the show, you can clearly tell when they were arriving separately that they clearly have not been together. Baby Mia, he's a cute girl. Can he hit that thick, long box right, though? Hmm, I wonder what y'all think. Moving on with the next layer of Real Housewives of Potomac Foolishness. Robin, girl, who asked you for this? Because I don't think nobody has ever mentioned about your skincare regimen, your skin, or anything, or asked for any advice or any type of products that would help them with their skin. Although you're a beautiful woman, a little haggard, a little unkept, a little uh, pressed and depressed looking. Pause me, please. Girl, she looks a mess. So I'm not understanding this newest venture, although I think perhaps... Congratulations should be in order, or is it just... Uh, Y'all drop down in the comments. Am I the only one confused where this came from? I mean, well, let's just read it because it clearly is in post from Instagram where Robin says, Huge update on my journey to opening my Glow 30 skincare franchise. Pause me, please. Girl, what? My location is selected, the lease is signed, and the architect is hard at work drawing up plans to transform this space into a beautiful Glow 30 skincare studio. Pause me, please. Who asked you for this? I mean, congrats. Again, y'all confused like me? I'm so excited for this process. We'll be located in the Columbia Crossing Shopping Center with Target, Dick's, Homesense, in Columbia, Maryland. It's a super convenient location right off of 95. I hope to see many of you there when we open. I mean, congrats? Again, who asked for this? Are you still selling the silk lined caps? <laughs> I mean, in order to be a boss, you must have multiple streams of income. Speaking of multiple streams of income, drop into the comments, y'all. Let's chat, pause to talk about it. And speaking of multiple, let's move on to the her and the other Green Eye Bandit who apparently got Slim Shady about to sue that ass. This comes from Rollingstone.com from February 21st of 2023, so almost a year ago. Real Slim Shady versus Real Housewives. Eminem tries to block reasonably shady trademark. The rapper is opposing the trademark application filed by the Real Housewives Potomac stars Giselle Bryant and Robin Dixon. So basically, what happens is when a person wants to trademark something, they have to file it. So if someone already owns the name, which Eminem does and has since 1996, pretty much shady, 
what they do is that they notify the owner, which gives you the chance to oppose that person's filing. And then it turns into a legal matter if you don't want to allow them. So basically, he owns Slim Shady and Slady, Shady, so therefore no one in the world can use it. Let's look a little deeper. Again, this article is from Rollingstone.com. Eminem is asking the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office to confirm he is the real and only Slim Shady, the rapper and his lawyers opposing the trademark application from two cast members of the Real Housewives of Potomac who are hoping to secure a mark for their various ventures under the name Reasonably Shady. The two Potomac stars, Giselle Bryan and Robin Dixon, submitted their trademark application last February. The pair already, already co-hosted a podcast called Reasonably Shady and were aiming to secure a mark for the brand that would cover merchandise and other entertainment services like podcasts and live events about dating, relationships, marriage, entrepreneurs, motherhood style, glam and current events. Things they're already doing and clearly they're doing it illegally. Last Tuesday, February 14, 2023, Eminem real name Marshall Mathers and his lawyer submitted opposition to Brian Dixon's application. As previously stated, again, when someone else owns the trademark, their owner is made aware of, giving them the opportunity to either approve, deny, or fight legally. According to the filing, the dominant portion of Brian and Dixon's reasonably shady mark is identical, identical to Mather's shady and slim shady marks. Mather's lawyer claims confusion is unavoidable between the two marks and that the public could come to falsely believe Brian and Dixon were in some way connected or affiliated with Mather's. Uh, his money's a lot longer. He's probably going to win. Uh, what do you guys think? Because, again, he has owned pretty much the name Shady trademarked it since 1996. Drop in the comments. What do y'all think? Well, good people, that is pretty much it, baby. I think the Green Eyed Bandits have a fight on their hands. I think Mia B. Lion Thornton, she's going to play with Little Man until she can because he's clearly a lot smaller than she is. Maybe he hitting it right, giving it to her right, and sliding a little change. You know, you do something strange for some change. <laughs> well, good people, again, Happy New Year's Eve and Happy New Year. Y'all be blessed. Y'all be safe. Until the next time, y'all be easy. Peace.